four man's three dimension. We're going to try to use this project to show how we can use Corel Draw's contour tool to give us a 3D effect for laser engraving, sublimation, or for whatever purpose for which it's needed. So let's go to effects, open up the contour docker and get to work on this first. Notice that I have a yellow page background so we can see whether or not we have possibly a white fill. Here we have a white outline, no fill. Let's uh, start contouring these. I'm going to tell it like I'd like to go to the center. Let's make this one thousandth of an inch and we want to go toward a black outline. So we'll apply that. So there we have 3D effect. Let's go the opposite here. Toward the center, one thousandth of an inch offset. That's the distance between each of these contours. We'll now go toward white, actually on the rest of all of these. So a different 3D effect. Text, we'll do the same. toward white, an object out of insert symbol character docker, Oop, I failed to get that to white, here's what I meant, so it went from a black outline to a black outline, my mistake, we'll tell it white, and rework that, which is what I wanted. And then finally, our heart. Doesn't matter what order you key these in, but all those values must be set the way you want them. Maybe I'll zoom in on a few of these just to show you the 3D effect. In this case, actually, rather than continuing to do that, I have a macro set up where I memorize those different steps. So I'm going to select this solid field. Notice now that has no outline and a black fill. We're going to use the macro here that I recorded just set that and notice that's quite a bit quicker and we'll get an extremely similar effect. Really not quite the same but very similar. Notice here you know this particularly here where we have no fill toward the center here because it had that black fill uh, somewhat different effect. And finally our macro here and basically we just recorded the same steps we did over here. Then here's another macro. And here we're going to use my what I call the neon macro. It doesn't go all the way toward the center. It just creates a contour for a certain number of steps. Notice that I have that 23 steps over here. We can come in and modify that. Let's maybe make that uh, 75 steps and apply that. And then maybe zoom in on those. And then we'll zoom back out and continue applying that neon macro to these other shapes. And by the way, let's make this one a black outline, just to show there's nothing particularly magic about the uh, color. We can get quite a bit of insight on real 3D engraving. While these two look very similar, we're going to zoom up on those and convert those to a grayscale and you'll get a slightly different effect with your output. 
in some cases quite a bit. These look extremely similar. This one had a black fill. This one had no fill. Let's convert that to a bitmap. You might be a little surprised there. Convert to a bitmap. Let's go 600. Let's go grayscale. It's not necessary to convert these to a grayscale for laser engraving, but you do get a different effect. And notice there, uh, we have these little slivers of lightness in here. In this case, we can see it. That's why I have the yellow background, whereas there is none of that over there. Start off with different outlines and with different fills, and then apply different parts as you go through here. Project completed.